Hey guys, this is Nathan Bufa and Rick King for thegamershub.net bringing you today we're here to bring you the unboxing of the PS4. We were, we were able to get our hands on this early and um, you know, we're excited. We have yet to open this. Um, it did the seal is broken though because I did go to the Sony event and got my name engraved on it. So that's not going to be on your guys. Yeah. We have not seen it yet. So everything we're going to be experiencing is everything you guys are going to be experiencing. But first, what I want to check out is this box. Look at how slim this box is. It's definitely a, the slimmest. It's almost like the size of a little plastic handle that uh, yeah. you get when you buy like your your uh, laptop. I mean, yeah. it's a really small box. It's it's a sexy box too. Look at the back. It has all these game characters. Let, let's see what we got. We got Knack. We got Edward from the new Assassin's Creed. We got Killzone, Hellgast. We got the Sleeping Dogs guy, or Watch Dogs, sorry. And we also got Infamous 2 on the back. And over here, Wait, it that's also... that's Infamous 2? I mean Infamous Second Son. Yes, that's the new character. Oh. So... I thought it was Ellen Page. Yes, well, it does resemble her pretty closely. <laughs> <laughs> we have the PlayStation Plus here, where it tells you all the bonuses you can get. Basically, you know, next-gen multiplayer you'll be getting for PlayStation Plus. And over here, it's kind of cool. It shows you everything that connects to these systems. How the PS3 connects to the PS4 and the Vita. You know, streaming trophies together and everything else. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's get in the front. And I'm excited to open this. Let's open this. Let's open it. Okay. So, so you as you're see. opening it, um, what else is in there as far as the PlayStation Plus trial? Well, we're going to be... That's... Awesome. Okay, we're gonna be. This is what it looks like. Prop this up for you. Okay. <laughs> so, what we have here, it comes with, obviously, the DualShock controller. Which is hard to get out. It has tape over the buttons to keep it all shiny. We got the touchpad right here. Pretty nice. The light Ooh, I turned it on. Oh my god, how did you turn it on? I don't know, I hit the, push this? Yeah, I hit, I hit the button. Hit this? Discover more comes with this. So let's see what's in here. Okay, this comes with, I'm gonna try and do this by covering it up the, no, that. Okay, it comes with PlayStation Plus, uh, well, PlayStation Store $10 gift card, um, Music Unlimited 30 day trial, and it comes with a 30 day trial of PlayStation Plus. Um, PlayStation Plus is always good. They supply you with um, each, you know, they always update games and you get free games that you can download as long as you're a member. So this is going to let you try out some of the new games day one. As soon as it comes out, there's going to be some downloadable titles that are seem really amazing. Uh, contrast and everything. You're going to be able to check those out as soon as you do that. We got the important books that uh, tell you how everything works. It quick guide. Tells you how to operate everything. Uh, and here we have the cable that charges the controller. Very cool. Which I don't think these come with the controllers if you buy them separately, but you can buy these at GameStop. And they never did in the past. You yeah, no. buy the charge cable separately. We also have the power cord. We have. So not to interrupt, I'm sorry, worth mentioning that this is actually a universal adapter, like the same as your cell phone, it's not the USB 2.0 anymore. So that's very interesting that they're streamlining one more, one more adapter. Exactly. Comes with a pair of earbuds that plug right into the bottom of the controller. Sweet. And it comes with an HDMI cable. No more component cables. Sweet. Yes. Now, it's time to get to the meat of this system. Thank you. It comes in this classic paper. Everybody that gets a PlayStation thing knows this paper with the clear. And oh Jesus! This is the console. And if you'll just look closely right there, you can see my name was engraved on the top. This oh, was man. from the Sony event. That right. is actually really awesome. That's, that's actually cooler than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting it to be just like 
pencil thin like, <laughs> even moving. That's actually really, really cool. That's actually really awesome. Uh, right here, you got the start button. You got the eject button for the discs. You got the disc drive right here on the right side instead of the left side. Um, Let's see what else. Yeah, the left side instead of the right side. Opposite. Um, you got the two USB cords, uh, plug-ins. Let's see what you got on the back. You got the HDMI, you got the Ethernet, you got all that good stuff that you need. And as you notice, when you're looking around, you don't see any screws. That is nice. And these, you've got, uh, instead of having your rubber feet at the four corners, you actually have these little ridges on the ends and in the front, so in the middle of each side, there's a bar instead of uh, instead of in the corners, which honestly at first kind of looks a little awkward, especially since there's only three of them, not four. So there's yeah. these two and that one. So there's less contact points, which is an interesting choice. And then obviously on the side it tells you what drives it has, HDMI, uh, well, not drives, Blu-ray player, DTS HT, HD. Yeah, this is... Really nice console. And you'll notice it's a uh, bit of a polygon there. Funny shape. Interesting choice. Well, you know, this makes it, I think, easier to hit the buttons. You can easily push them easier. If it was flat and you're trying to hit the eject button underneath That's that. true. I used to hit all the wrong buttons on every previous console. And this could, um, this could cover up the cords in the back. So kind of like stays hidden. Obviously they're trying to hide stuff with the screws not being shown and stuff like that. So this is definitely a very nice looking system. It's yeah. small, it's super light, I would throw it around, but no, it's... no. Yeah, it's definitely very interesting. There's obviously some kind of method to their madness. Um, I hate it. That's the Gamers Up. So make sure you like this video if you like it, obviously, and subscribe and Keep on checking on the Gamer Sub because we're going to have a lot more gaming news for you coming up. This is Nathan Bufa. And Rick King.